thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today we're going to work in our My Favorite Things art journal and the prompt for today is what is your favorite type of scenery? Is that snow-capped mountains or the forest or the desert? Mine is the beach. I'm going to show you how I did my layout and then it's up to you to grab your art journal and do a two-page spread depicting what is your favorite type of scenery and it could be anything so be creative and step outside the box try something new this was painted with acrylic paints it's something I've never tried before doing a beach scene like that and it was really fun so grab your supplies and try something you've never tried before
Okay, so I have my scene done the, pretty much what I want it to be. There's my starfish and my sandpiper, and I did it all in um, acrylic paint and Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2 with a little touch of Arteza brush pens. And then now what I want to do, I'm going to take this photo strip. It's an actual photograph of a uh, beach ocean. And I want to cut my letters out of that. And so what I'm going to do is use a stencil, a lettering stencil like this. I'm going to put my book aside. And to do this, what you want to do, I want my words, my letters to be all across this. So when I lay it out, you're going to actually see the letters across are going to make that ocean wave scene in the letters. So that's what I want to do. So what you want to do with that, because you want your letters to be like this, B E A C H is the word I want to do. And I want my H to be in this beautiful wave here like this. So what you want to do is you want to flip over your stencil and your scene and your photograph scene. I'm going to flip them both over and you're going to take a pencil and you're going to outline it. So on the back of this photo I'm going to trace these letters and they're backwards. And I'm going backwards so B-E-A-C-H and I want these to be lined up close together so they're going to be continual of the scene on the other side, the photograph. I've done this before and I really like the technique. So you're going to trace them. So next would be A. And then E. And the last will be B. Okay. So I have my backward word on the back of the photo. Now I'm going to cut each individual letter out. And here's what it looks like when you flip the letters over. You've got the photograph beach scene in the letters. I love it. So this is um, something you can do with any regular standard photograph. So you could go to the ocean and take pictures of the ocean and cut out the words ocean. It's really fun to do. So now I'm going to lay them out on my design here on my layout. See if I can squeeze it in. I don't really want that A to be on the crack, but that's okay. Actually, I'll just split it. So that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to take art glitter glue. I'm going to use art glitter glue and I'm going to glue my letters in place. So with the A, what I'm going to do is just split it and just take my scissors and cut straight up that letter and put one side on this side and one side on this side with a slight space in between so that you can still open and close the book. So if you're just getting in on this and just found this video, there is a whole playlist for the My Favorite Things Art Journal series and you can start this at any time. It doesn't have a time limit to it. So you just grab an art journal and the supplies that you have and you just go along with the prompts and create pages to create a start to finish book of all your favorite things. And I'll put a list of the supplies that I used also in the description box. You hit the little downward arrow and you'll find the playlist and the list of the supplies. 
So I hope you had fun watching me create my page and I hope you enjoy doing your pages in your book. If you want to join the Facebook group and show your artwork, please do. We're all learning from each other, sharing our artwork and what we're doing in our My Favorite Things art journals.